Hey, cruise gear friends. I just couldn't go a week without a live stream. You know how I am. I couldn't handle it. So we decided to pop up over here on Cruise Gear and say hello to everyone. Thank you all so much for coming into the chat with us a little bit early. We've had some of our wonderful, loyal followers here. Cheryl, Rayno, May, May, Mike and Cheryl are here. We have Allison, um, Megan came in early. So many of you. So thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been wonderful chatting with all of you. I know everyone's freezing right now. The US and Canada, especially on the East Coast and some of the central areas are absolutely below below uh, normal temperatures. I can tell you that, thank goodness, California got some rain this week. We were in such desperate need of rain following all the fires that we had, and we got about half an inch a few days ago, and it was like everyone was doing the rain dance everywhere. A half an inch is not a lot of rain, but it was enough to wash some of the ash off of all of the streets. So it's good to see everybody here. We're gonna roll the chat for just a few minutes, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, let's roll the chat for just a few minutes. And then what I wanna do, you guys, is I wanna ask you, if you want us to continue rolling the chat when we demonstrate the products, because as you can see from what I'm doing right now, the chat overlay can be sort of over the products and we and we don't want it to be a problem, so it's fine, you can see it. Mr. Crossips TV said it's okay. Why don't you let us know if it's okay with you if we keep the chat rolling when the products are up next to my face to show to you. So. Hope everybody's doing great. Welcome to Cruise Gear. We have two channels. We have our Cruise Tips TV channel, our main channel where we talk all about cruises. And we vlog there. We bring you all kinds of coverage from our vacations. We do tip videos, all that fun stuff. And this is our second channel. If you're new to Cruise Gear, we created this channel to be an exclusive place for showing you stuff that you might take on a cruise. Because what we found early on is that people like to keep the two things separate. They don't want to feel like they're being shown products that we might encourage you to buy on our main channel. And I know it sounds wacky, but we want to keep the two separate and we want our viewers to be happy. And this is the way that we feel that it works best. So if you ever wonder why we have two channels, it's because that's what our viewers, our subscribers seem to prefer. So today we are going to be showing you guys four products from a company called Neat Pack. Full disclosure, Neat Pack has sent us these products. We did not pay for them. However, I had seen them before on Amazon and was interested in their products, and we we're very careful about vetting uh, products that are offered to us. We do not accept free products if we would not use them or give them away to our subscribers or if they are not cruise and travel related. We do get lots and lots of emails for products that have absolutely nothing to do with anything that we do here, and we always politely decline those offers. So I just wanted to make sure you understand where we're coming from and how we accept our products. So Neat Pack is an awesome organization. They are two sisters that have a passion for travel and organization, and they live on different sides of the world, but they've made some cool products. They, um, are, they have backpacks, they have toiletry bags, and I do believe that they have packing cubes. They did not send us any packing cubes um, at this time, but today we're going to be showing you you the compact backpacks in two colors. Can you see those okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Yeah? Okay, sounds good. So these are the compact backpacks in the 20 liter size, okay? And then we're going to be showing everybody two sizes of their toiletry bags. This, I believe, is their medium size toiletry bag. And this is the what they call the compact toiletry bag. So what does everybody think? I wanna pop into the chat and see how everyone's doing. Thank you, um, Sue, for complimenting me on my bracelet. Is It is, of course, a Pura Vita bracelet. Um, if they still have it on the site, I will link to it in the description of this video after it goes live. I love Paravitas. I wear them all the time in a million different combinations and I love my monthly club membership. I'm literally addicted to them. I'm so addicted to Paravitas that I bought a stand in my that goes in my um, closet to hold all of them. Oh, that may be a problem. I may have a problem. So thank you for that. All right, sounds awesome. Do I see Matt Hotchberg here from Royal Caribbean Blog? Hey, Matt, thanks so much for jumping in the live chat today. This is a weird time for us to jump into the live chat. We're usually noon on Saturdays on our other channel, but I'm stoked to have you here, you guys. Um, most of you probably already know who Matt is, but Matt runs Royal Caribbean Blog. Royal Caribbean Blog is an awesome website, podcast, forum, and many other things that I really think Matt needs to rename Royal Caribbean University because it's like the place to go to learn all about Royal Caribbean. I never miss one of Matt's podcasts. In fact, uh, he interviewed me 
to talk about packing for Alaska uh, last week or this week actually on his podcast. So give that a listen if you haven't already. I was actually going to mention that, but Matt, the fact that you're here is awesome. So welcome. We're stoked to have you here. So let's see here. Audrey, yeah, I like the smaller one too. It's kind of cute, isn't it? It's a nice size. We are going to be doing a giveaway associated with all of these products very soon, you guys. So please watch my social media channels for information on the giveaway. And it's difficult for me to post the giveaway information here, but I'll try to get it into the comments if I can after the saves to um, a replay. But you really need to be following me on Instagram and Facebook for information about giveaways for the most part, okay? So that's the skinny there. All right, yes, I know. Okay, Jennifer, good to see you. Hi, Nadia. Thank you so much, Nadia. This is not a natural tan. My Caribbean tan is fading. I busted out my Neutrogena Micro Mist again this morning and put on a little bit of a, little bit of a tan, but really you're probably seeing bronzer um, today because I've been getting a little bit more liberal with the use of my bronzer with my brush. So I wish I could say that it's a real tan, but it's not so much, so. I see my mom is in the house. Hi, mom, I'm so sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better. All right, you guys, let's get to looking at these products. What did everybody decide about leaving up the live chat, honey? Good, they wanna leave it up? Yeah, okay, <laughs> yes, okay, yes. Okay, so we're gonna leave the um, the live chat here. If at any point you guys find it to be distracting and you want it taken away so you can see the products better, you just let me know. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is the compact toiletry bag from um, from Neat Pack, And of course, we'll link to all these products in the description box below. In fact, they're already linked there. This is the, the compact size and it comes in four colors. It looks like graphite, marine, forest, and black. I think this might be the, the graphite. I'm not sure, but we'll check it out. So I'm gonna get you a, a little ruler here, show everybody about how big this is, just in reference. It's hard to hold the ruler at the same time as I'm doing this, but we're gonna give it a go. So it looks like it's approximately eight inches wide, just to give you guys a little tiny bit of perspective there by about nine high. So it is a very nice compact size. Let's open it up and see what it looks like inside. The zippers move very freely, something I'm always kind of critical about these days when I'm demoing out products. It does have a hanging, uh, a little hanging hook to put on the back of your stateroom door in your cruise cabin if you need it. I love these. I cannot imagine life without them. These are also great, you guys. If you don't have room in your bathroom and you can't hang it on the towel hook in your bathroom or on the towel bar, if you don't wanna do that or if you can't do that, you can just hang this in the closet. Hang it in your closet with your clothing and put other things in it things aside from toiletries, like jewelry, accessories, little tiny things for your kids. If you're traveling with children, you could put little hair bows and things like that in here, right? I don't have a girl, but if I had a girl, I'd be packing hair bows in here, okay? Barrettes. <laughs> so um, let's see here. All right, guys, this is the top. It has one clear pouch in the top. I'll try to show you. It's a little difficult to really give you a full demonstration of a product in this set, but we kind of wanted to do this live. So I'm gonna try to hold it up for a long time and give you an idea. This is the main compartment here, which is just pretty standard. It has a few little mesh areas in the back that you could tuck things into. Um, maybe a toothbrush, maybe some toothpaste, things like that. And it has one other small zippered pouch down here. Um, this is interesting because there's mesh on both sides of the pouch. I like that because I think that it would um, prevent moisture from building up in that area, so that's pretty cool. It looks like we might have a few little side pouches as well. Mr. Cruz to TV, am I making a lot of noise over here? Is it like drowning out my mic? Okay, cool. All right, so two tiny little pouches on the side. Oh, actually, these aren't tiny at all, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you what I'm seeing here, but inside this pouch, there's a few little elastic holders where you would definitely be able to place your toothbrushes. Now, if you have a really long toothbrush, it's not gonna fit in this toiletry bag. I can tell from looking at it that that might be a little bit of a stretch, but maybe a couple of lipsticks, maybe a nail file, uh, something like that would fit in here. I'm gonna see if it's, there's a good, if there's enough space. Yeah, you could, put, you could put something in here, maybe even a comb if you turned it upside down and another little mesh pouch here. I think if I use this bag, this would be where I'd put my chapstick. So just trying to think of the real world applications for this. Okay, so um, let's see here. What is everybody saying? Is our Christmas tree still up? Are you talking to me, Janina? No, our Christmas tree is not up. We took it down. We are very, 
precise about liking to have it down by the end of the following weekend. So we like to have that, that New Year's Eve weekend. By the end of it, the house is completely free of all things Christmas and it's clean and we're kind of moving forward fresh slate, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how we roll. All right, you guys, this is the small one. What do you think? It does have a little handle on top. I think it's lovely. I like it. I actually like the black because I tend to get things dirty. I get makeup all over them and stuff like that. So I think it'd be really nice to be able to wash this. I'm gonna place it down here. And I wanna look at the little card they sent to me to see if there's anything else that we need to know about that product. I will tell you how to follow Neat Pack if you'd like to check them out. They are on face, uh, Facebook at Neat Pack, N-E-A-T-P-A-C-K. They are on Twitter at Neat Pack Bags. They're on Instagram at Neat Pack and Pinterest at Neat Pack Bags. So yeah, you should you guys should check them out and see what you think about it. Okay, let's take a look at the larger toiletry bag now. How's everybody doing in the chat? Mr. Cruz Tips TV, good? Yes. What I'm hearing is it's hard to see because it's so black. So I'm gonna okay. get something that you can put in the black one because sure. they'd like to see some things put in, okay? Oh, would you go do that for me? You know yeah. where to find it all in my closet. What do you want specifically? Why don't you grab me, um, I was going to say grab a toiletry bag, but it might be too buried in the cruise bin. Just get, we'll just get some product. Just get some I'll product. Okay, so bin. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is going to go get product, and I'm going to put it inside of the little bag for you guys, okay? So thank you very much for letting us know that you're having that trouble. Thank you. Yeah, Matt, I know you and your lipstick, it's always like all over the place. So just, we can't trust you. <laughs> you're so funny. Hi, Pete. You're here. Good to have you. Thank you so much. Okay, so Pete has a tip for us, you guys, and this is a good one. The bags can also be used to make an emergency bag to take in a hurry. I think that's an excellent idea. Pete, do you mean like a, um, a go bag for an actual emergency or do you mean like an emergency travel bag? Would you mind sharing with us what some examples of things you might put in the emergency bag? Because I think this is a really smart use for it. And doesn't this, Pete, have a good look of an emergency bag? It's very like, I don't know military looking. <laughs> I love this one. So we're going to go ahead and open up the bigger bag. I think this one will be a little bit easier for you guys to see because it's not quite as dark, but keep communicating with us. Keep letting us know. Okay. Paula, please ask Neat Pack to ship to Canada too. Oh, I know, right? Because they're on Amazon. You know what? I wonder if they have a regular website that you can purchase off. I wonder if you can go to neatpackbags.com since they don't ship to Canada on Amazon in the US, maybe we can check that out, but we'll see, maybe they'll, maybe they'll be watching this and register their products on Amazon Canada. That could also be an option for them. Okay, here's the larger toiletry bag. Is this a good level? Can everybody see this okay? You can see the inside of this bag much better, I'm hoping, because it's kind of the, the camo color. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Yay. Okay, so what's that? Oh, yay, cool. Mr. Cruise Tips TV brought a light over too. Do you wanna, um, do you wanna bring it a little closer? Want to do the black one again? Okay, we also brought out a flashlight, so we'll go ahead and do that. Those of you who are just joining, hello. And um, Diane Peacock noticed something, honey, about you. Do you know what it is? Yeah, she said, Mr. Cruise Tips TV sounds like he has a mic. Yes, he does. Diane, what went into getting this mic to work has taken us six months. I cannot tell you how complicated it was. We're testing it today, but uh, he hasn't said much. I think he's afraid. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right. Medium-sized toiletry bag, guys, same concept in this bag, only larger. And I can see the difference is that the hanging hook is larger. This is more of a normal hanger size. There are two pouches in the top. Can everyone see this? Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Inside down here, much bigger. I really like this size better. I think this is more my jam. What, what's wrong, Mr. Cruz Tips TV? I'm pretty? Really? What, what's wrong? Did you? Okay. You just never know, you guys. This is a live stream. Things can get really weird around here, right? Okay. So um, the bottom half of the bag has a lot more space. Again, you have the dual mesh bag on the bottom. I love this. This is probably where I would put my toothbrushes because I want them to get air and circulate, right? So yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So a couple more mesh little pouches here. And let's look at those side pouches and see how they hold up. Okay. These, I don't know, I still don't know if you could fit a toothbrush in here. I think these are a little bigger where you could fit a toothbrush in them, but that's, that's what this guy looks like. It's kind of hard for me to keep moving it around like that, but I think, I think we're getting the gist of it, right? Go get your toothbrush. Looks good. Yeah, go get me a toothbrush. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to go back to the smaller bag for just a moment. Wait for you. 
<laughs> okay, sounds good. I'll wait for you. I'll look and see what's going on in the chat while we do that. Okay, Teresha, so the website says they only ship to the USA. Okay, Eve, yes, we're going to do a giveaway, but I'm going to set it up separately. Follow us um, as you always do already on social media, and I'll post the giveaway here in the comments as well. Okay, thank you so much. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV has brought me my toothbrush. Let's see where it would fit. Let's try the little bag. Okay, so little bag is a no, unless you wanna leave it sticking out, okay? All right, I think if it was me, I'd try to put it in here. Nope, doesn't fit there either. You'd have to put it right there, but that's okay. That would work. So let's try the toothbrush. This is hilarious. We're doing the toothbrush test, you guys. Um, the toothbrush would fit beautifully in this pouch, or let's try over here. That, <laughs> that hanging thing is really bouncing around. Yeah, this would work, you guys, this fits. Okay, you can see that, okay? So yes, it's toothbrush approved, this is hilarious. Okay, so back to the little black bag. Do you wanna pull the chat down for a moment, honey? And we can do, it's not the chat, it's the light. Okay, so let's put some product in here, you guys, and see what will fit, okay? Mr. Cruise Tips TV brought me <laughs> an entire beauty box full of stuff to show you guys, so let's do this. I have got to tuck this hanging thing away. It's driving me bonkers. It's making too much noise, I'm sorry. So yeah, this would be a good place to put little bottles of things like this. Mm-hmm, oh yeah, totally works. Love it. Okay, there's way more space in this than I thought. This is gonna hold a ton of stuff, you guys. Even the little one, look at this. This isn't even, this isn't even the tip of the iceberg. You could put three of these little three ounce um, squeeze bottles in each of these holders in here. This is going to hold way more than I expected. So um, I think in the side compartments, let's take a look and see what we can put in here to demonstrate what it looks like. All right, there we go. So I've got a few little balms and things like that that will fit nicely, I think, in these little side containers. And then I'll show you what we're looking at in just a moment. Yeah, this would work. Okay. All right, so you can see that we got a little bit we got a couple of 0.5 ounce little squeeze bottles to fit in the little side compartments. Um, as for this little area right here, I don't think a whole lot's gonna fit in there, except my sticks pin that I took on our sticks cruise on Carnival. This is hilarious. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, you just found my sticks pin and you didn't even know it. This was in the bag, isn't that funny? Okay, so I'm gonna put my sticks pin in there in case I go on another Carnival Live cruise, you never know. So does this give you guys a little bit of a better idea of what we're looking at? Okay, cool. Yay. You know what? Um, Sean Toppel, I'm not sure how to say your screen name. Hopefully I'm saying it right. I don't know if it's waterproof. Sean Toppel wants to know if it's waterproof. And they actually don't specify, but I'll look in the description on Amazon and I'll find out for you, okay? All right, everybody seen enough of the toiletry bags? You wanna see the backpacks? Let's take a peek at them. So we were sent a black backpack from Neatpack. These are the type of backpacks that fold into themselves. So they're very compact and can be folded down. Also have the blue one here. Let's open the blue one first. Um, these are very similar to the backpack that you guys saw me packing on our Panama Canal cruise, only they're significantly smaller. The backpack that you have seen me using is a 30 milliliter, I believe, 30 milliliter um, uh, backpack and uh, this is a 20, 20 liter, maybe it's 20 liter. Let's take a look at that, hold on. I'm gonna have to check my um, measurements, you guys, but I will tell you this is smaller. Did I see that um, Michael Arnold did a super chat? Hey, thank you, Michael, very much. Michael donated $2 to the channel on super chat. Thank you so much, that was very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's open this sucker up and see what we've got going on. Okay, as you can see, you guys, it folds right out. It's like, wham, bam, I'm here. One thing I noticed about this backpack that's totally different from some of the other ones that I've ordered is that it is not coming out of the bag quite as wrinkly. It is pr in pretty good shape. The last backpack that I used, I really had to um, wait a few days, hang it on a hanger, let it kind of release, put it in the shower area to get the wrinkles out and it never really got out. So maybe not an essential thing for me. I really don't worry about stuff like this, but kind of cool. So I need to check into these and see if they're water resistant as well. Matt Hotchberg from um, Royal Caribbean Blog and I actually just talked about backpacks being water resistant on his podcast the other day because when you go to Alaska, you want, if you're carrying a backpack, you want something that at least the rain doesn't soak into in case you have camera gear, a change of clothes, things like that inside the backpack. So I'll check on that for you guys and we'll see what we can do. 
All right, cool. All right, Sean Tapp, your new cruiser. Woohoo! Welcome. That's awesome. We love working with new cruisers here. There's so much information, so many resources here for you, and so many great people who are going to help you get prepared. So whenever you have a question about cruising, make sure you ask, make sure you leave a comment in one of our videos, either here on Cruise Gear or on Cruise Tips TV, our other channel, because we want to hear from you. We want to help you out. And if we can't help you, we'll always ask our community to help you. Okay? So very welcome. All right. Yeah, I think Shelly, they are leaders. So let's just assume this is a 20 liter backpack. Thank you for that. I think I'm losing my mind a little bit today. Yes, Christine, I was thinking the same thing. In fact, did I, honey, do you remember when I told um, our son the other day, I said, honey, this is your next backpack for my son. He's nine and he's kind of outgrowing his toddler backpack right now. And I put it on his back and I was like, yes, it's perfect. It's also good for just day packing. So I think if you were doing like a really short excursion, maybe something where you didn't have to put an entire beach towel in this sucker, right? Or like a giant two liter bottle of water or something like that. You could probably get away with it. So let's go through the features. Okay. It has a little, um, a little tie to pull the zipper open. It has a little front pocket here. It also has the mesh pockets on the side. I always put water bottles and sunscreen in these. Sometimes I will also put sunglasses in them if I think that they're not going to fall out of the package. So Kathy Barber has a suggested use for this, you guys. Kathy said this would be good as an extra pack to carry just in case you do too much shopping. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes, Kathy. That is a beautiful idea. I really appreciate it. Yeah, nothing, everything's okay. I know, <laughs> Matt, right? Now I'm the packinista. Is it packinista or packingista with a G? I just don't know, but thank you. I appreciate it. We're always learning with this stuff. It's like, you know, every cruise, I think I make some major packing mistake and I try to write it down somewhere and we never really know if we're gonna, if we're gonna do it right the next time. Okay, so moving on to the top of the bag, I'm gonna show you guys the inside real quick. We're not in our normal set here for unboxing stuff, so I'm a little bit thrown off by that, but you've got a little inside pocket with Velcro to hold it in. I think you could fit like an iPad in there, but probably not a laptop, if that helps you. This portion just kind of folds in. This is the part that it was folded into. It just kind of sits here inside, and then what you can do is, if you'd like to, you can stick stuff in the zippered pocket on the inside. So you would turn this portion of the backpack inside out, and then you can use this to put small things. In my um, general day bag, what would go inside of this pouch would probably be hand sanitizing wipes, a small container of tissues, like if you needed to blow your nose or something like that, chapstick, lipstick, um, other small items like that. I've put things in here for my son, like lollipops before, um, you know, cough drops for my husband if he's had a cold or just whatever, small things that you don't want to get lost. Good to put them up here. I also like this inside pocket because it feels secure to me. This is very similar to a backpack that I've used before and I've put my cell phone in this part many times because it feels closed off to me. It doesn't feel like someone's gonna push their hand into the backpack and steal it. So yeah, Brandy, it is definitely perfect carry-on bag. If you don't want a lot of weight for your carry-on bag, this would be a really good thing to put on your backpack. Thank you. All right, so mesh on both sides, as we mentioned, little um, uh, ties, I guess you could say, to pull the zippers, which I like. I also really like, you guys, that this backpack has a couple of these little hooks here. What we do when we're cruising is we use carabiners to hook things to the outside of our backpack. Our Maui Gym sunglasses have hooks on the outside of the um, of the uh, sunglass case. And so we use a carabiner to hook them to the outside and we feel pretty secure knowing that they're going to stay. A lot of you guys use water bottles that have hooks on them and this would be an excellent use for that as well to uh, pop a water bottle on the outside. Again, maybe things that you're not too concerned about losing in case the carabiner were to, to fall off or get unhooked or something like that. You know, it's just... It's just really one of those things. Kathy, thank you. You guys, what is up with you guys super chatting today? Please know you never have to do this. We really appreciate the support, um, but it's certainly not an obligation. But thank you, Kathy. Happy New Year. That is so precious of you. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, so does anybody have any questions about this backpack that you want me to resolve before I put it away? Okay, 
Let's see here. Oh, Suji just um, called you out on your new fashion accessory, honey. Look at the chat. So Suji must follow us on Instagram and Facebook because she noticed that earlier this week I posted a picture of my husband on the balcony of the Caribbean princess where I was teasing him and told our subscribers, I'm like, please tell my husband that his GoPro is not a fashion accessory. Well, everybody thought I was wrong and that it is a fashion accessory and they liked the look. So Mr. Cruz TV, I think that you won out on that one. Mom, you like this and you want to order one. Okay, sounds good. I'll show you how to get one. They're only, they're, they're really inexpensive and they make good gifts too. Okay. Second backpack from Neat Pack, same as the blue one, only it's black as far as I know. But I haven't opened this one yet, so we are about to find out. Hi, Sherilyn, welcome. Gail, yes, it can absolutely be used by, by an adult, and I'll put it on my back to demonstrate. I don't think it's meant for kids, um, Gail. I think it's meant for a, adults. Oh, oh, okay, here it is on me. How's that? Good? Can you see it? I will flick my hair. Good? It's not that small. I feel like I'm going to school though. I wanna put my, my textbooks in there. <laughs> so yeah, Gail, good question. Um, it feels good too. And again, I didn't notice this before, but more mesh. I like mesh. I like breathability. Now the mesh doesn't necessarily go all the way through the backpack, but it's cool. I like it. Adjustable, of course. All right, let's open the black one, everybody. Okay. Jennifer, you guys, I, what is going on with the super chat today? Why is everyone <laughs> feeling so generous? Jeepers, Jennifer, thank you so much, you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless, but thank you. Hi, Bonnie, you made it. <laughs> um, let's see here, Vernon. You said they're showing the zipper on the bottom to a concealed pocket. Oh, really, Vernon? Oh, did I miss that? Oh my gosh, you guys, Vernon. Vernon just discovered something about the backpack. Vernon, I didn't see this. Okay, we're backing up. We're going back to the blue one. You guys, there's a secret compartment in the backpack. Look, this is the bottom of the backpack. There's a secret zipper that I did not see, but the, that Vernon saw. And you open it up, and what's inside? Holy moly, Vernon. It's like a little kangaroo pouch. Look at that. Okay, it doesn't go all the way inside. So it's about maybe six, eight inches deep. But, hmm, Vernon, what would we put in the bottom? I would put my son's dirty shoes in there, <laughs> right? This is so cool. How did you find that? Did you look on the website? That's clever. Vernon's been rocking it. Vernon's been rocking it? What's Ver he's Vernon is owning the chat today? Is that what, is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, that is so funny. David Snell, you're here, you made it, you guys. David is one of many people who um, was trying to get into the live chat time after time, but had a weird thing happen. So David, I hope you don't mind me sharing your story because I really think this can help other people. But what we found out is when David was trying to log into the live chat, he had to have his Google username set up. And it's not something that a lot of us would know. Like you could have a YouTube account and not have a Google, is this right? Am I giving him the right information, honey? <laughs> No, you talk because you're on a mic. That, on a oh, you're not on the mic anymore. Okay. So he, he needed to set up his Google username is the, is the short version, but he got it and he's in. So welcome, David. We're glad you're here. I can tell you, now. you can tell me now. Okay. Mr. Chris TV just turned on his mic and he's going to do it. Okay. So okay. the way I understand it is uh -huh. you have to have Google Plus now associated with your YouTube account in order to comment. And he is, I understand that he had it, but he didn't have a name and you have to have a name. Hmm. That's what you I understand. You have to have a name. Okay, got it. So hopefully everybody got that. If you're ever having trouble logging into the chat, we learned something new. So thank you so much. Tammy, thank you. My goodness sakes, you guys. All right. I don't know what's going on today, but the super chat is on fire. Thank you so, so much. Bonnie, you're here. You're getting very, very close to, uh, your cruise, young lady, that's gotta be very exciting. Oh my goodness sakes. Checking in on the chat and seeing what else is happening in here since we are live, we have plenty of time. Okay, all right, Eve is here. Eve is our notification squad. Hi Eve, good to have you. All right, so Vernon, you found it on the website, huh? The sneaky one, okay, I love it. Awesome, okay, you guys wanna see the black backpack? Here it is. It's all open, it's just like the other one. It looks identical. It's really nice though. It's kind of, I'd say it's more black and gray. It has black with gray accessories. Is this hard to see again, you guys, because of the, the fact that it's so dark? 
It looks pretty good. Okay, so we're getting the general idea, right? Oh my goodness, Bonnie is 15 days away from her cruise. Yikes. All right, so same concept. It's got a front pouch. We've got the little, um, the little hooks here that you could attach things to if you wanted to. Side mesh pouches and Vernon's secret compartment down here on the bottom. So it looks good. These are really nice. I kind of like the idea of having a more compact backpack. I'm not exactly sure what I would use it for at this point, but I think they're great. So we will link to all of these, you guys, and I'm gonna set up a giveaway for them as soon as possible. In fact, I'll try to go ahead and set up a couple of giveaways. And I am gonna go ahead and leave this giveaway as restricted, excuse me, my nose is a little runny. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, restricted to only the folks who are viewing uh, our channel. So what that means is that when we set up a giveaway with Amazon, normally what happens is Amazon opens up the giveaway to their audience, which means that, you know, about 5,000 people can enter the giveaway. And that means that the chances of one of our subscribers winning is a little bit more small. So sometimes we don't allow um, that to happen. So I'm going to keep this one private just so all of you guys know. I would also like to hear from all of you after this is saved to the replay. If you are not in the United States and you cannot get one of these products mailed to you, I would like for you to leave a comment, please, and let me know what country you're in and we will have a separate giveaway drawing for people who are outside of the United States and I will personally mail one to you. Drives me crazy when we can't do a giveaway outside of the US because we have a ton of subscribers in Canada, in the UK, and in Australia, in Mexico, all over the world. So when this saves to replay, if you are not in the US, leave your country and maybe your first name if you can, and I'll email you or have you email me privately if you're selected as the winner of the international giveaway and we'll give away a couple of these to outside the US. So, how is everybody doing? We've showed you all the products today. Now we have a few minutes. Let's take 10 more minutes or so just to enjoy each other's company and hear what everybody's doing. Does anybody have any um, cruise questions coming for me? Mr. Cruise Tips TV, let me know if, if I have missed any. Okay, sounds good. So far, so good. It sounds like a lot of you guys are cruising soon. It sounds wonderful. Christine is 119 days until their MSC Seaside cruise. I know Bonnie's only 15 days away. Mike and Cheryl are very, very close. Very exciting. Let's see, what is this? Um, Brittany said her fiance and her got all new cruise gear for Christmas. You're all ready for your wedding and honeymoon cruise in April. Oh, Brittany, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Let us know where you're going. Bonnie, you just ordered more stuff from our Amazon Marketplace. Tell us what you ordered, Bonnie. I think you told me you ordered the compression packing cubes from Well Traveled. Those are awesome. Love those. Cool. All right, where is everybody else going? All right. Ooh, Brandy freezing up there, huh? <laughs> Mike and Cheryl are at negative 12 Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness sakes, you guys. So fun. This has been really fun today. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. Um, how you doing over there, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? No, I think let's give it a few more moments and see if anybody has any questions. Jennifer said they just booked another cruise. Oh, yay, Jennifer. So you have four cruises booked. February, eight-day Caribbean. October, four-day Mexico. Oh, what are you doing um, 2018, four-day Mexico? Are you doing inspiration or imagination or something? And then July to Alaska. All of those are just booked on NCL. Oh, just booked on Norwegian. So they're all Norwegian? Let's see, oh, Carnival or Norwegian. Okay, seven day Caribbean. Sorry, Jennifer, I was having trouble reading the comment and like separating it out, but I got it, okay. All right, David said, where do you go for the best deals on your port stays? That is such a good question, David. I generally do um, research on TripAdvisor. I feel really good about TripAdvisor because I can go in, I can read real reviews from people repeatedly. You know, like you, you'll, you'll catch trends throughout, you can see photos and you can see how they're highly ranked. So that's generally speaking where I do my research. And most of the time, David, we do book our own excursions. So we're kind of getting a little bit closer to that. Okay, Matt at Royal Caribbean Blog said, I need a recommendation for a good bag for beach day excursions, room for towels and kids junk. Matt, backpack size? Um, or do you want an actual bag? I can definitely make some recommendations for you. It kind of depends on the budget. Um, e-bags make some killer, really high quality backpacks. 
Um, but that might be a little bit of overkill for Caribbean beach day types of things because they're a little bit more heavy and solid. But um, I do have a couple of good ones up my sleeve and I will send you some links. But e-bags is really, really top notch in quality for backpacks. So if you're looking for something that's like pretty large and it's gonna last you for 15, 20 years, I would go with e-bags. They're great. Very nice, very nice. Okay, um, Rebecca wants to know what kind of pillows do you have seeing how you can't travel without them? Oh no, now I'm getting teased about the pillows, Matt. This is hilarious. You know what, we just have down, um, down pillows that we bought at Costco, right, honey? Like 10 years ago? Probably really old down pillows from Costco. I have no idea what brand they are, but they came in a two pack and they were probably less than 35 bucks each. So yeah, definitely. Bonnie said, what about your tote bag? Oh yeah, I have some good totes, Bonnie. I love those, but those are probably a little too girly for Matt. I'm not sure he wants a pink bag, <laughs> but oh my gosh. Let's see here. Oh, my Alaska tote bag. Yeah, Bonnie, my Alaska tote bag was cool, except for it was really small. It ended up being like this big and I couldn't fit enough stuff in it from Spreadshirt. I like that. Um, Gail, you can't find my reviews on Cruise Line. Not sure what you're doing wrong. Gail, can you find me on Cruise Line and then look at my profile? So if you find me, you should be able to see my photos and all of my reviews. Um, so try that and if it doesn't work, I'll send you a link. You have my email address. Let's see here. Brittany, okay. Oh my gosh, on the Magic, Carnival Magic and April, okay. Let's see here. Um, Sean Topple says, would you recommend booking excursions on your own for a better price? Yes, yes, and yes. There are exceptions to that. There are certain ports where we will always book with the cruise line because maybe it's safer or you have a really short port stay and you really need to make sure you're back to that ship in time. In one of those cases, I might book only with the ship, but generally speaking, we're getting a lot more comfortable about very carefully researching excursions and booking them on our own. And the thing is, these days, these excursion and tour providers are highly motivated to get you back to the ship in time because their reputation depends on it. If they don't get you back to the ship in time, they're gonna get bad reviews written about them online and people are not going to book. So believe me, they are highly attuned to needs of cruise ship passengers in most major ports. We've been, uh, in the last year, we've booked a lot of excursions on our own. And I would say that those tour providers were just as concerned with getting us back on time as if we were on a ship tour. They will talk to you about it. They will not book you during times that don't work. They verify uh, what time your ship is coming and going, and they may counsel you on port and ship time differences. So it's usually okay. Yeah, definitely. Rhiannon, and I'm glad you liked the compression bags the other day. They are awesome and they're so pretty. I love those. If I was going to Alaska again, I would take those compression bags with me. Thank you for watching our video. Really appreciate it. Stephanie, Carnival Breeze in 35 days. Woohoo! All right. CEA House says six days to the Caribbean, first time using packing cubes. You're going to love them. And one thing I really love about packing cubes is not unpacking them. We like opening the flap, the top flap on the cube, sliding it onto the shelf and leaving it there all week. I'm, I almost never unpack them anymore. All right. I know I'm missing a few questions. There's gotta be. Oh, G-Dub Walker, you're going on a crafting cruise on Oasis of the Seas in February. That sounds so fun. Um, did you see our vlogs? I know this is totally different, but it reminds me of it. Our last, our last Sea Day vlog from Grand Princess, there was a quilting group on board and we made a really good friend, Joan, on that cruise um, who was in a quilting group and it's really cool. So Riley Stewart, your first cruise. 239 days, that's so awesome. Yay, keep watching our channel. You're gonna love it. Alaska is an awesome destination, definitely presents different challenges. Be sure to listen to our podcast interview on Royal Caribbean blog um, to hear more about packing for Alaska. We go into some great detail and we have some really good videos on that topic too. So yeah, let me see what other questions that I have missed. I think we're doing pretty good here. Okay. All right, everybody's agreeing that packing cubes are the bomb. Isn't it the funniest thing, you guys, that something so small can really change your packing game? I cannot imagine not using them. Um, now, when I go away for a little weekend trips and things like that, I don't always use packing cubes. I usually just throw things in a carry-on bag. But when you're packing a lot of stuff, they're really wonderful. So, yeah, very cool. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap it up right now. 
I don't believe that I've missed any questions, but if I have missed your question, please be sure to wait until the saves to replay and type your question in the comments. If you do not live in the United States, I would like to offer you an extra giveaway opportunity. Please wait until this saves to replay. Don't put it in the chat right now. Leave your um, country of residence and your first name. We'll select a winner and we'll give some of this stuff away and get it sent out to you. And for those of you who are in the US, you can participate in our regular Amazon giveaway coming very soon. Thank you guys so very much for everything. Yes, Mr. Crucifix TV wants to say something. I do want to say something. Okay. Because that super chat was crazy today. And yeah. And honestly, we weren't even sure it worked. Yeah. But I do want to say a personal thank you to Michael Arnold, mm -hmm. Kathy Barber, Jennifer Hutchins, and Tammy Thorne. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. That was way too kind. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. That was very sweet. And Mr. Crucifix TV, thank you for speaking up. How does his mic sound, guys? So yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. It's, it's heartwarming. I almost get a little choked up with gratitude. And I also want to thank all of you who participated in our um, blanket giveaway um, for St. Thomas. We did um, collect quite a few blankets that are going to be distributed by Fathom Cruise Line um, on Crown Princess in January in St. Thomas in person to families in need. And it was really touching. I know that those blankets were really expensive. We're going to try to do something like that again at a lower price point because I know that it wasn't accessible for everybody and we feel really bad about that. Um, but it was a success. And we appreciate everyone that participated in that. So thank you guys so much. You're wonderful. We appreciate you all so much. We will see you um, on our other channel, um, January 13th, next Saturday, noon Pacific time, not this crazy, wacky, weird one o'clock time. We're going to talk all about solo cruising. If you're an expert on solo cruising or you have questions on solo cruising, get on in there and we'll see you then. Thank you guys so much. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye-bye. First mate of the week. Uh.